promise of God says that you will be like a tree planted by the riverside that bring forth its fruit in due season and all your ways prosper. So don't you think it's wise for you to check your, your counsel? Is it not good for you to check the people you stand around you? Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're keeping safe. Yes, with this pandemic going up and down now, we have to ask each other if you're keeping well and keeping safe. Please do stay safe. God is watching over all of us, but at the same time, we have to stay safe ourselves too. Yes, guys, you have to stay safe. Thank God everything is coming down now, but we still have to stay safe and mind ourselves, mind each other. Check up on your families as often as you can. And God will protect us all in Jesus' name. Amen. So guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, you're welcome. You're highly welcome. I like seeing new faces in my channel. So you're welcome. Feel free to join the family. We're here. We're here to support each other at all times. So guys, if you're new... Don't forget to subscribe and turn up the turn on the notification bell on so that you get to see this face all the time and come on YouTube. Yes, guys. And like, share, comment, and do tell me what parts of my channel you like or you don't like. So you guys see. I said before I do video, let me drink small water. Oh. Now so that's how the water just poured on me and stained my top. And I already sitting there. And guys. I didn't want to go and change my outfit again, so I was like, I will apologize to you guys when I start doing the video with the stain of the water. It's just water. It's not as if I stained myself. It's just water. I just finished drinking my water. I said, let me drink some more water before I sit down so that my throat will not be dry. The water decides to pour on me and stain my clothes, so that's why I'm here like that. Pardon me. Biko. Biko. Don't Allah. If you speak outside, don't Allah. Pele. I don't know how to say please in Yoruba. I don't only know Pele. Pele means thank you. I don't know. Then Allah. I don't want to say Kochu. Ibo say. Ibo said what? Anyway. Let's just go into the video. This is me trying to, to speak all the language I know how to speak in one video. <laughs> I know I'm going to get slapped when I finish this video. Mm? I don't know how to speak even... A sorry in Igbo after how many years been married to you know that eh, you know that with Igbo Kwenu Igbo Kwezenu <laughs> all I know is eh, Mechonu Mechonu which is to shut up and I was talking to my sister the other day Ella lifestyle with Ella if you are seeing this video I'm just apologizing to you in the camera not in secret we were talking oh I mean, trying to like form that I know small Igbo and I say Mechonu. Not knowing that Mechonu means shut up. I didn't mean to tell you to shut up. No. That's only small Igbo I know. <laughs> so I was beginning to, I was trying to form that I said small Igbo and that's why I say Mechonu. I was, just, I was just trying to say like, leave me alone. I thought like Mechonu means leave me alone. I didn't know that my channel means shut up. I didn't mean to tell you to shut up. <laughs> so, Lifestyle with Ella is another sister of mine here in YouTube. So, if you haven't subscribed to her, I'm going to put her... I'm going to add her link to this to this video so that you can go there and rock her channel and tell her you're coming from Comfort Zone Lifestyle so that you feel all the love you guys love me so that you show her that love as well so that you know we all grow together as one big happy family. So, I'm sorry sis, I didn't mean to tell you you should shut up. It's just the small Igbo I know. That's the one I was trying to form with. Not knowing that it's telling people to shut up. Sorry. <laughs> so guys, I'm here to guys again. You see? Anytime I'm here to read the Bible with you guys, I don't know what happens. I just keep talking, 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 and I'm not keep quiet. Comfort. Get your things together and read. Yes. Yes, guys, I'm here to read the Bible with you guys again. And you know the way I get so excited when it comes to read the Bible with you guys. I'm here again with another 
Sam. I just, I, I love reading Sam. This guy, let me know in the comment section. If it's only me that likes reading Sam too much, do let me know. The Sam of David is just so beautiful that I always find myself going into it all the time, reading it a lot. But I'll try to start reading other Bible. I read other scriptures a lot as well, but Sam is just so beautiful that I... It's, it's just beautiful. Read it by yourself and come back and tell me how beautiful it is. So today we're going to be reading Psalm 1. Psalm 1, the first chapter in the book of Psalm. Psalm have 155, 150 verses. Pardon me for my mistake. 150 verses and I'm so familiar with all of it. But I'm, I'll be taking you guys in and out, in and out of it. By the time we finish the 155 verses, I know by that time you guys must have learned a lot, but let's go straight to it without no more talking. Stop talking, girl. One says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor sit in the ways of sinners, nor sit in the way, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of comfort, but his delight is in the law of the the law of the Lord, and his, and on his law he meditates day and night. Let's pause there for a minute. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Question: What counsel are you walking with? The Bible said, "Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked." Question. Is their counsel are they wicked? Answer in the comment section below and let me know. Are the people you sit around with are they wicked? You yourself, you yourself that is sitting with them, you know the people I'm talking about. Yeah, look at me very well. You know the people I'm talking about. Are they wicked? Answer let us know. Verse 3, he says, He is like a tree planted by the stream of water that yields fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. All the days, all, all that he does, he prospers. You see? The verse 2 says, He that defines delight, that meditates on the word of God day and night. This is the person he's talking about in verse 3. That he will be like a tree planted in the stream of water. That he yield forth his fruits. He yield forth his fruits in due season. Whatever he does is prosperous. If your your counsel are not wicked, if you do not stand in the way of sinner, nor sit in the seat of discomfort, this is the promise of God to you. Open your own Bible and read. It's not my word. It's not the word of my pastor. It's not the word of any man of God. It's the word of God itself. Right there. It's the word of God. And the Bible makes us to understand that for before one of his word will, will, will pass away, that will not come to pass, heaven and earth will pass away. That's sure. That's God himself telling you. If this word will not come to pass, heaven and earth will pass away. So if your counsel are not wicked, if you do not stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of discomfort, in, of discomfort. So the promise of God says that you will be like a tree planted by the riverside that brings forth its fruits in due season and all your ways prosper. So don't you think it's wise for you to check your, your counsel? Is it not good for you to check the people you stand around with? Is it not good for you to check the people you sit around with? This is a, a beautiful promise. Verse 4 says, The wicked are the wicked are not so, but they, they are like chaff which the wind drives away. That's what I'm asking you. Is your counsel, are they wicked? This is the word of God. He said, The wicked are like chaff, the winds drive them away. So if you are wicked, the wind will be driving you away. That's why you are not stable. 
That's why if if you find yourself in life, you are just moving from one place to another. There's no stability. Your feet cannot be planted in anywhere. Check oh, whether you are wicked or whether you are sitting in the council of the wicked or you are standing in the way of the of the sinners or you are sitting in the seat of the discomfort. Check yourself. Oh, this is the Bible I'm reading. I'm not reading anything. It's not coming from my head. Psalm 1. Right from the beginning of the Psalm. Psalm 1. That's what I'm reading. Read it. Verse 5 says, Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. If you are wicked, if you are a sinner, when the righteous gathered, you cannot be found there. You cannot be found there. So the wind will be tossing you up and down. The wind will be tossing you up and down there. The last verse. For, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. God, help me. Let me never be wicked in any way of my life. Neither will I sit in this, this council of the wicked or in the ways of sinners. Father, please help me. Guide me. Guide me. I cannot do this on my own. I need you to guide me, oh Lord. Did you hear that? Let me read that again. Maybe you he didn't hear it. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the wicked, but the ways of the wicked will perish. I don't want my way to perish. Father, please let me be righteous in your ways. Let me not sit in the council of the wicked. So that I will not perish. It's, it's well known. The ways of the wicked will perish. I don't want to perish. I don't want to perish. So, Father, help me. That's the way I read my Bible all the time. You guys know I pause and I explain and I use it to pray. So, I will encourage you to always pick up your Bible and read. And show yourself some, some good deeds. Do yourself some good and read your Bible. Because that is only where you can find direction and find the way of life. And redirect, redirect your life. See, like I like I likely said, if you find that you are not stable in any way, check your counsel, check your ways. Because the Bible says that the ways of the wicked, they are like chaff, and the wind will be blowing them away. So, guys, thank you guys for reading with me today. It's always a pleasure coming to reading the Bible with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy reading with me. Let me know in the comment section which of the Psalms is your favorite. And do let me know if you enjoy the way I talk while reading or do you want me to just go and read. Do let me know. I like to know what my viewers like. Do let me know. Stay blessed and stay positive like always. If you haven't invited Christ into your life, you see the smile I'm carrying. I'm not carrying it because of anything. I'm carrying it because I know I am a daughter of Zion. And Jesus is with me always. So I cannot but smile always. So guys, do yourself some good and invite him into your life. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Until I come your way again, it's your favorite girl. Comfort zone lifestyle. Stay blessed. See you soon. Bye.